Hey guys, this is Aaron. Today I want to talk about SketchUp, which obviously, um, but specifically how I have SketchUp set up on my computer. Now this is not meant to be taken as the end-all be-all way to have SketchUp set up or installed, but a look at how you can customize your main screen to get the most out of it for your workflow. So let's hop in. So first thing some people have commented on is I don't use the big tool set. I'm on Mac, something else to think about. A lot of the things I want to look at aren't specific to Mac, but uh, obviously the UI I show will be Mac. So I don't have the toolbar, the big toolbar, and that's uh, just a preference. Personally, I like to have as much uh, drawing area as possible. So I try to minimize what I actually have open on my screen. So I do rely a lot on shortcut keys. And at the top, I do have my standard commands. A lot of these are assigned to shortcut keys or uh, shortcuts on my mouse or 3D mouse, but I do keep them up here um, a lot of times for showing people how to use certain commands. This is customized, not the default list. I have some things on here like the uh, follow me command, which is not part of the default toolbar. I also have a couple of extensions over here that I use a lot. And I put those buttons up there because uh, I do lie, rely on them a lot, which is an important part of setting up SketchUp. You want to make sure that the things that are present on the screen are the things you use a lot. I've seen there's a uh, show me what your SketchUp looks like forum topic that's been running for years. And people have, some people are running on dual monitors where one monitor is all buttons from extensions. And that's cool. If that's, if that's the way you like, if you like to see everything you have right in front of you, that's great. I tend to modify my setup depending on what I'm gonna do. Basically, it's, it's tailored to the job that I'm doing. Some of the things that I always have open or always have up is this set of windows. So this is a little different, obviously, on Windows rather than Mac. You get the tab bar and you get to nest uh, a bunch of stuff. I really like that setup because one of the things you can do is you can actually have multiple panels with different content inside of them. Uh, on Mac, we're limited. It's these uh, kind of sticky toolbars that connect to each other, which it works great, but it would be really nice to have that flexibility. Regardless, these are the ones I have open. So Entity Info, Layers, Scenes, Outliner, all of this has to do with actually organizing my model. I generally keep them nested and snapped up in the upper right corner and then just pop them out as I'm going through to see the information that I need uh, depending on the thing that I'm working on right now. So if I'm working deep in groups or something like that, I'll open up Outliner. That way I can hop in and out of groups. If I have a model with a whole bunch of scenes, I'll have the scenes panel open and stretched out as big as it can get so I can hop in here and, and change scene contents, that sort of thing. Then I also have a couple down here that I don't use as often, but it's an easier way to modify what I'm working on. So styles and components, for example, if I do have something where I'm dragging a lot of components in and out, I'll keep the components window open. Uh, same with styles. If I need to change my style based on a model, something like that, I'll pop that open and make changes. And then at the bottom, I have the things that I don't use that often, but uh, I use them often enough that I keep them open. So that's fog, shadow, and soft and smooth. Those just get popped open on an individual basis as I'm working through here. If I come up to Windows, there are a handful I don't keep open all the time, match photo, instructor, materials. Those ones I just, materials pops open when I hit the paint bucket, so I don't keep that open because it uses up real estate. And uh, match photo, I don't use often enough to hold on to it. Instructor is something that's often overlooked, especially by newer users of SketchUp. It is good to have Instructor open because it will actually tell you, based on what tool you're using, some tips on how to use it. So if you are newer to SketchUp, check out Instructor. It's a great tool. The other thing that I will do as I'm running through here, as I'm using this, is I mentioned kind of having different tool sets available. I will come up to tool palettes, and if I know I'm doing like sandbox, so I might have sandbox open if I know I'm doing some uh, landscape modeling or something like that, and I'll snap it to the left side. Again, my goal generally is to keep this portion of the window wide open for my model, so you can fill this up with as much model as I can, and not have to worry about stuff lapping over. I do use multiple monitors, but everything I do as far as modeling inside of SketchUp happens on my main monitor. So uh, 
the second monitor is for things like recording software or email or, you know, unimportant, unfun stuff. So that's how I have SketchUp. Again, this shouldn't be taken as the end-all be-all of how SketchUp has to be set up, but hopefully it opens your eyes to how you could have SketchUp set up. Maybe there's a thing or two you could do to tweak the way you have it set up so that it's optimized for your workflow. Hopefully this video helps. If you like it, give us a like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And most importantly, leave us a comment. We like making these videos, but we like them a lot more when they show something you want to see. Thank you.